warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I am Herlina Laila I want to share you about the short story is the title The Open Boat The Open Boat is the short story by American author Stephen Crane 1871 until 1900 first published in 1897 it was based on the Crane's experience of the surviving a, a ship work of the course of the Florida Airlord that year while traveling to Cuba to work as a newspaper correspondent. Okay, then what's the time? Let's get straight to it. In the short story, have the four characters. Who is there? Okay, let's start. The first is the correspondent. The correspondent is the journalist who was caught in the tragedy of the same king of the commander in the same of the court of Florida. The second is the captain. The captain is the epitome of what a true leader and gentleman should be. He is an intelligent and skilled person, calmly analyzed and dialing with every problem that comes his way during the ordeal at sea. He is also compassionate and completely selfless. Despite the fact that he was injured, he put the need of uh, his friend above his own and looked after the people in the lifeboat as if they were his children. And the third is the Billy, the tanker or the oiler, was without a dove the uh, hardest working man in the light boat. Before his ship sank, he made a two ship in the engine room, but he rode for hours without complaining. Even when he was nearly blind from lack of sleep, he hesitated to turn to the accosted correspondent for help. Billy was one of the four drowning men who didn't survive. And uh, the fourth is the cook. The cook is the first to suggest the presence of the life saving station and cannot help but turn his mind to the simple pleasure of living on land, such as his favorite pies and meals. Although he is not fit enough to help with the heroin, the cook makes himself useful by boiling water. And then, a uh, plot summary. The Open Board is the dramatic short story based on Stephen Crane's own real-life experience when a ship he was sailing on to Cuba sank in the high sea of the course of Florida. He was a correspondent for an American newspaper and he was on his way to write about problems that led up to the Spanish American war in uh, 1898. As the story opens for men, a cook, a correspondent, an oiler, and a captain are in a live bar in the stormy sea. They are off the coast of Florida. Just after they ship has sunk, so on they spot the like uh, of a lighthouse somewhere in the distance. So they know they are near land. Although they can eventually see the shore, the waves are so big that it it is too dangerous to try to take a boat into land. They the waves will destroy uh, the lifeboat and possibility crash hard on the man in the sub sub may maybe killing them. People on the shore see the lifeboat and try to signal to the man to come in. But the sea is just to rock. The four men in the boat hope the people on land will send a bigger boat out to research them. But that does 
not happen instead um, instead the men are fortunate to take the board fort farther out to sea where the waves are not quite as big and dangerous they spend a total of two nights in the lifeboat and take turns rowing and then resting they are not sure if they will survive and they have exchanged address in case any of them should die on the morning after their second night the men are awake and not fishing the boat has come to rescue uh, them the captain uh, decides that they must try to take the lifeboat as close to shore and possible and then be ready to swim when the shark in a in a fee inevitably turns the boat over and throws the man into the cold sea this is exactly what happened as they get closer to land the waves get bigger and bigger just as they expect a big wave comes and all the men are thrown into the sea the lifeboat turns over and the four men must swim into shore there are rescuers waiting on shore who help the men out of the water strangely as the whole captain and correspondent reach the shore safely and are helped out of the water they discover that somehow the old the oiler, the strongest man and best swimmer has drowned after being smashed in the shore by an half wet. As night comes, the man still heard the thunder of the waves on the shore, the voice of the sea. Now they understand the power of the sea and how easily it can climb even the strongest man's life. Okay, complete in the short story is the talk out the story the four men struggle against natural, I mean nature. They were tethered in a slightly shabby place with hug waves constantly uh, crashing against them. Billy and the correspondent had to take turns rowing the board and keeping it uh, from tipping over and the cook was responsible for saving water from the board. They had was off as they approached the shore but the waves were too big for them to paddle all the way on the shore. Water and wind prevent the four men for research land and safety setting the setting start from the story of the lives of four men who can still break after the tragedy sinking of the Commodore's ship in the state of the Florida. The trails of light are uh, tested when they find a small light board to survive temporarily and seek help until finally their board was hit big, uh, by big waves and they swim to the shore they have been used. After they welcome the rescuer on the beach, survive on uh, so bit one of them was not safe. And at the time, the the overboard is the discourse on the man's relationship to nature. Definition of nature is plain again is equally complete. Definition of man king as symbolized by the man in the dinghy. 
as their emotion facilitate they see nature differently when they are angry nature dolls are the punishment of an angry deadly when they are hopeful they regard nature as the symbol of the unity of the people when they are jubilant uh, they see nature as being the best in themselves and each other when they are disappointed nature is this again and when they are in despair they see nature as the weakness within uh, themselves it is only after the correspondent is said that he can recognize recognize his very core view of the function of nature in human existence okay and then in this story have the many kind analyzing flood yeah the first is ori orientation 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 in this short story is for men are in a light board of the course of florida they sip sang and they uh, they are pretty bummed about the world ordeal as you might image the sea is really violent and they are having a hard time keeping a live board of load amidst the mischief oops the men are the ship captain cook oiler and correspondent the captain is injured and the crew is the jolly and the oiler is the strong and then correspondent is a drug of wool and may uh, or or may not uh, also be our narrator narrator they feel a strong sense of uh, brotherhood being being together on this boat and then racing action the racing action of the story is everything that happens leading up to the climax in the short story the often boat the racing action takes up most of the story the racing action in the story is the four men are lost on the ocean in a tiny boat with crazy worms and they are trying to reach land soil or be rescued during uh, this time the men face many challenge one of the main challenge that they face is they have to be very careful and not move around a lot of the boat uh, will fill up into the water and drown them and then climax the climax of the story is the big turning point in this in the story the whole story so far has led up to this one point the the climax in this story is there's four men jump out of the woods and swim to land a man who was on the island comes running out and help pull them out of water the climax happened toward the very end in this story and then falling action the falling action in the story is at the end right before the resolution during the racing action in the story the character just reached the big turning point and now are dealing with in some way in the story the falling action is when the men all reach the shore and the bunch of other men and woman come running towards them with blanket and they see one of their friends didn't make it and the last resolution the resolution of the story happened at the very end when the characters have dealt with their problem the resolution in this story is when the men are sitting on the shore listening to the voice on the ocean and they feel as if they can be interpreted of the sea okay and then the moral pillow in the short story 
uh, many hands make legs work no matter how hard the work no matter how difficult the ordeal if done and force it together will feel easier okay i think that's enough for this short story i am harina laila let's say have a wonderful day see you next time and bye bye assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh